Hey guys, it's Kiara, and today I'm here to do a review of Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matzman. And I know my reviews are as rare as unicorns, but I do them sometimes. <laughs> Before I get into the actual review, I really want to talk about this cover because this cover is gorgeous. I really like what they did with here and what it looks like on the back, but I really like what it looks like underneath. It has this really cool poster thing and I think it is just the coolest thing ever. I just wanted to say that this book is a great summer read and I absolutely loved and adored this book to pieces and I really want to read more of Morgan Madsen's work because I really did enjoy her writing style as well. Basically, this book is about a girl named Emily and her best friend Sloane is always the person getting Emily to do stuff she wouldn't normally do. They are going to have this extravagant summer and it's going to be amazing, but then Sloane disappears. Emily's concerned until she gets a list in the mail from Sloane and it's a list of things Emily has to do that summer that are kind of outrageous. The things on this list are kind of daring. There's kiss a stranger, go skinny dipping, steal something, break something. So Emily does all the things on this list thinking it will bring her closer to her best friend Sloane. It's just such a great story and I love the concept and I think I loved the story so much more just because of the concept and yeah it's just it was a really really amazing book. I really love the writing style of Morgan Matson. It just flowed really well. She also put some cool playlists in here. Here's one of them and I think that's really cool. I believe she does this in some of her other books as well so definitely going to pick up more of her books because I liked the playlist overall. The format of this book is pretty interesting. It will have about a chapter dedicated to each task that Emily is going to complete, but somewhere like in the middle of the chapter, it'll flash back to a time where Emily was with Sloane. So we get little bits and pieces of what Sloane is like, even though she's not actually present in the present of the book. I, I thought those were very interesting and it's shown in a different font talk about the characters because this definitely has a lot of character development in this book. I think that's what it mostly focused around besides the summer to do list kind of thing. Our main character Emily is awesome. She has a great sense of humor even though she's a little shy but it's really cool. Her parents are like play writers so I thought that was really interesting quirk as well because there's like an event that happened in this book that I just really enjoyed because I was very smiley about it and it wouldn't have happened without the cool quirkiness of her parents. Emily also loves to run and I think that's always an awesome thing to have in a character because I don't know, runners are just interesting for me to read about even though I don't like running. And Emily is not annoying at all, she's a great protagonist and I thought she was just so fun to read about and I loved reading from her perspective. The next character I will talk about is Frank and Frank becomes one of Emily's friends in her quest to do her list. I really really love the friendship between him and Emily. I also loved when Frank and Emily went running together. Those were one of my favorite moments in the book. They had a great friendship that I absolutely adored. The next person we're going to talk about is Sloane and even though she's not really present in the beginning part of this book but I love Sloane's character. She is just so daring and bold and she's just kind of crazy but like who wouldn't want to be friends with someone like Sloane? Sloane just has this daring personality and she's also very funny. Um, the way that her and Emily met in one of the flashbacks is just so hilarious. I felt like I was a part of her friendship because it was just so real and genuine. The next person we're going to talk about is Collins and he is Frank's best friend and Collins is just such a cool character. He just added a really cool thing and helped Emily get some stuff done on her list that she probably wouldn't have done without Collins. I really loved the character development of from the beginning of this book where Emily is really shy and she relies on Sloane heavily to get her things done for the summer, but then 
as it goes on, she grows so much as a character and being not as awkward as she used to be. I think that's what this book was mainly about, is very character driven, but it's also the concept was just amazing. Yeah, I love this book. It is a perfect summer read. I highly, highly recommend you guys pick up this book and I really hope you do. Let me know if you do. Yeah, if you guys have read this book, let me know in the comments. I would love to discuss it with you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more of my face and yeah so go up and pick up this book and until the next time I see y'all happy reading